Hi Pisces, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy and this is your reading for the last half of September 2019. So these are the mid-month general readings. This is for Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, Pisces rising, rising, if your Venus is in Pisces or if you are cross-watching, try saying that five times fast, if you are cross-watching for a Pisces as well. But as many of you know, general readings always resonate a little differently for everybody watching. So watch all of your signs rising, uh, sun sign, moon sign, Venus sign, if you know them, because it can be helpful in providing uh, additional clarification. Welcome to everyone who's joined us here today. Thanks for taking the time to tune into this channel. Thanks for all your support, like, shares, feedback, and comments. Uh, always welcome and always appreciated and thanks to all of my clients out there regular and new uh, for not only keeping me so busy with personal readings all the time but for so many of you returning time and time again I never forget that there is a certain amount of trust placed in your readers and your psychics for uh, taking a look at what are sometimes rather personal issues in your life so thank you very much for uh, the trust that you place in me I'm honored by it if any of you are interested in setting up a personal reading with me, I offer a wide variety of readings in all the main areas of life and you can click on the description link below for more info and contact details. You can email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I can usually respond to your initial inquiry the same day or within the first 24 hours. And as I'm blessed to do readings full time six days a week, I'm pretty diligent with both uh, your schedule and mine to set up readings in as timely a fashion as possible. Uh, so send me an email if you're interested and we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, Pisces, let's take a look at what the last half of September 2019 has for you. Okay, Pisces, we begin with the King of Cups, followed by the Empress. We have the Knight of Swords, followed by the Knight of Cups. From the bottom of the deck, your overall energy and guidance for the last half of September is judgment. So there's definitely offers and opportunities in front of you, Pisces. I mean, judgment is your overall energy for the last half of September says that because judgment can sometimes be the second chance card, a second chance to answer for yourself, meaning that it's a second chance to make a choice or a decision. And the implication is that you may want to consider making a different choice or decision than you may have done uh, in the past with the situation or person or historically in this area of your life. Um, judgment represents that whatever you choose you're going to be responsible and answerable for it and judgment usually has an air of finality representing that you have an opportunity for something here it might be a second chance at something or with someone so judgment represents that whatever you decision you make whatever path you choose whatever you set into motion in this situation is going to be your reality for quite a long time to come uh, this opportunity will either not come around again or it won't come around for a very long time. So choose carefully and choose wisely. If it is a second chance for you, there is an implication in the second chance that you may want to do things a little differently than you did the first time around. Because whatever you choose, it's going to be your normal, your reality uh, for quite some time to come in whatever situation or area of your life this is resonating in. For many of you, it looks like perhaps uh, a partnership of some kind. It could be love and romance for some of you. We have the King of Cups and the Empress here, and I'm feeling these as two di distinctly different individuals. Um, Pisces, this King of Cups could be you, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising, uh, sometimes referred to as the King of Cool, uh, because he's so good with his emotions. Kings and Queens represent people who have reached uh, a mature self-discipline, self-responsibility, uh, a balance over the character traits inherent to their suit. Cups is water energy, your energy, and this is the emotional energy. Uh, so the king and the queen of cups are often able to, um, you know, they're emotionally stable people. They're in touch, in tune, and intuitive about not only their own emotions, but the emotions of the people around them. 
Um, they're naturally caring, caretaking people. Um, they don't necessarily, kings and queens don't necessarily wear their hearts on their sleeves. They've learned through their own life path behind them um, when to extend that and when to not, uh, what to say and the right time to say it or when not to, which can sometimes be just as important. Uh, you know, they've reached that balanced place particularly in their emotional maturity. And they're often able to keep their heads in a crisis or a challenge when everybody else is kind of running around freaking out. Uh, so this could be you, Pisces, standing in this emotional stability and also trying to uh, maintain kind of a, a, an emotionally cool exterior. Not cool in the same sense that the king of, a, of, of swords would, but, you know, being supportive and nurturing but maybe not revealing too much or only as much as you feel you need to uh about what so what clarifies the king of cups is the empress um for those of you male cancerians i feel like this is a female that you're looking at uh, for those of you female cancerians you could be involved with another water sign or somebody who's like the king of cups uh, you could be interested in somebody that is coming across as the Empress or they could be interested in you and seeing you as the Empress uh, at the very least this represents that you will be or the other person you see you see them or they see you as very abundant very fertile very sensual very feminine very beautiful very nurturing uh, it's a card of fertility a fertility means that the time is right to plant seeds to sow something uh, it's also a card of self-nurturing. She balances uh, the physical and tangible with the unseen and spiritual as well. She holds that lovely balance. She is the, the beautiful counterpart of the emperor. She kind of softens up his, his hard edges sometimes. So there is definitely somebody that you see as the empress or somebody that you're involved with is seeing you uh, as the empress and maybe considering new beginnings because there's definitely offers and opportunities for some of you it might be somebody that you were involved with before and either you or them is seeing you or them uh, maybe in a new light or it, it I mean for those of you for whom this would be coming back together again or a, a, a second chance um, This might be somebody that you've been attracted to or they've been attracted to you for a time but just haven't acted on it in the past. Maybe they think now is the perfect opportunity or you think now is the perfect opportunity to begin something with them. Because that's what I'm getting. What I'm the the only thing that I I mean general retail general readings are kind of tricky and you know you're reading them for a, a lot of different people. So for some of you you're on one side of the fence where they're looking at you like the empress and for others of you you're on the other side of the story where you're looking at them as as the empress or somebody who's very like this we have the knight of swords and the knight of cups so it's interesting because the empress the knight of cups is right next to the empress so whoever the empress is she could be making this offer based purely on you know love and the emotions uh, because that's what the knight of cups does he charges forward to offer his cup of love he expresses his feelings quite shamelessly blatantly and openly uh, i love you this is what i'm offering i'm offering you my feelings i'm offering you my cup of love the knight of swords comes in offering you know news information clarity insight Knights often represent offers or opportunities, something to be accomplished, because that's the role of a knight. Missions, quests, they bring things, they deliver things. They can also represent the speed at which a situation moves, and also at the very least, Pisces. It looks like whatever this is, whatever these offers or opportunities are, they're coming in very quickly. Um, they're being communicated very, I think, clearly even though if this king of cups is you or if this king of cups is the other person uh, <laughs> i feel like you know it's interesting because i i got a similar feeling from the cancer reading uh where there was it was more relationship based and there was two people in this relationship and they were coming from 
two different personality types and approaching the situation with from two different personality types. I feel like on the surface, maybe the two of you are, are also kind of a bit similar than that. Although the King of Cups and the Empress would share more of a natural emotional approach to things. Although it looks like the King of Cups, whether it's you or whether it's them, is trying to play it more cool. Uh, you know, not aloof at all, but just a bit more direct maybe um, than whoever the Empress is here. But there's definitely an opportunity to, to do something here. Judgment is sometimes the second chance of the Phoenix rising from the ashes. Uh, so this can represent that the second chance might be the second time around with this person if you were involved in a relationship with them before. It could be a second chance with this person if you just didn't act on what you wanted to before and now you think is a good time. Maybe they were with someone before and now they're not. Or it could be that this is another opportunity to enter into, uh, you know, a love relationship with someone maybe that you weren't in a relationship with before, but you haven't had, maybe you have a history of having difficult or negative relationships or relationship experiences. Maybe you didn't make, always make the best choices in the past and spirit is providing you with an, another opportunity here because judgment implies that you may want to do this a little differently this time differently than you've done other relationships or differently than you did this relationship in the past if it was someone that you already have a history with. And whatever you choose here, however you choose to proceed, this is going to be the reality in this portion of your life for quite some time to come because what you choose with judgment sends a message not only to other people that are aware of this, but it sends a message to your internal self too about your priorities and what you value most and you know moving forward. So again, think carefully. Wow. Just for some clarification, I pulled the star and the chariot. So the star is a card of renewed hope, faith, and optimism to move forward in a powerful way in this, the, whatever potential this relationship or this potential relationship might have. The star is a card of renewed hope, faith, and optimism. So again, this might be a coming back together with someone. It might not be, you know, romantic love. It might be a different type of relationship. Although I think love is in the air for water signs. Uh, but there's a renewal. So it might be a second chance with a relationship you thought was just lost or broken before. Or it could just be uh, you feel like this is uh, that spirit is saying this is a second chance in this area of your life. So put forth the effort. Do it a little differently so you can move forward in a very powerful way. I feel like spirit is encouraging many of you, maybe not all of you, but many of you to... Take a chance, at least take another step or two and see where this goes. Particularly if you didn't before or you did it in a different way. So Pisces, that is your reading for the last half of September 2019. Uh, I hope you found it helpful and positive because it is positive. It has, a, it has a very hopeful, positive energy to it. So if this reading resonated for you, if any of the readings resonate for you, and you'd like to take a deeper look at something or schedule a personal reading with me, email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I would be most happy to work with you. Uh, I offer love and romance readings, relationship compatibility readings, career work and finance, uh, different types of investment readings, gift readings for friends, family, and loved ones. There's nothing more personal and unique and specific than a personal reading. So they do make great gifts for people. And I also do six and 12 month life overviews, which take a look at what's coming in all the main areas of your life for the next six or 12 months, depending on how far ahead you want to look. Uh, so a few th different things to choose from. For those of you who are interested, I look forward to hearing from you. I will see you all again in a couple of weeks for the October 2019 general readings. And until then, as always, I wish you much joy, blessings, and happiness in your life. And I hope to see you back again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.